Hello everybody and assalamualaikum and welcome to my channel. I decided to try something different and actually record my lovely face since you will be seeing it in like photos later, early, early, later. In comparison to this bit, in, to this clip, you'll be seeing it later, but it's early on in the video. Anyways, you will be seeing my face, so I decided let's let's record, let's test out my new camera. Do you like? Do you like? Do you actually like seeing my face? Do you want to see my face? Hmm. Anyways, in today's video, we're gonna be drawing myself, this lovely lady here, in dark academia. Don't judge my outfit by this. This is just my my lounging clothes. What I normally wear is much cuter than this. Dark Soul, with that being said, Dark Academia is the opposite of what I normally wear. So that's why I chose it. If you would like to see me draw myself in other uh, aesthetics, just let me know which ones. Otherwise, this will be the first and the last installment of this drawing series. But I had a lot of fun. And without further ado, there you go. All right, so let's get started. So from what I saw of Dark Academia, it is completely different from my style. <laughs> Here are some pictures of what my style is. And then here are some pictures of what Dark Academia looks like. So based off of those, I feel like I've dressed like in that aesthetic before, quote unquote in that aesthetic because I dress how I want. But I've dressed like that before. So I'm thinking like a turtleneck maybe. Oh, this is the wrong layer. I'm thinking turtleneck, right? Because I see that a lot. And if we're doing something that is like you know, Mary, then a turtleneck would be it. You know? I love turtlenecks. Something with like high waisted pants. Some. Let's see. Go back. <laughs> Something with like high waisted pants, right? And the thing about the high-waisted pants that they wear is that they're not fitted by any means, right? I say they as if it may, they're like different from regular people. And they're usually like, I need to make this a little bit darker, I mean lighter. And there's usually like a line for the crease. My mom used to make me iron a crease in all my pants. I hated it. I absolutely loathed it. I thought it made me look like an old person. Which I was kind of right. It does kind of make you look like an old person. Oh, these need pockets. So, I'm gonna... The pockets for these are usually very big. Don't do like that. So, and what, other than the fact that the pants for the dark academia style are usually not fitted and are usually, that seam is too high, are usually not fitted and not baggy. They're not skin tight, which I like that about dark academia. And they also are never normally like a, a polyester. They're like a tweed or something a little bit denser, like a corduroy. It's usually something like that. Let's see. We're gonna visit the shoes a little bit later. Okay, so I'm gonna have my hair covered and from what I remember of myself when I wore like a sort of dark academia-esque outfit, 
I always tied a turban because I just I prefer to not when when my outfit is like fitted and all nice and stuff I prefer not to have a bunch of fabric hanging off of me you know okay, so what I'm gonna do here is actually boom boom bing bang bop that probably looks weird right now but I'll fix it so you can see exactly what it is that I'm doing too big So is this Zarya Damien? Is this how it is? Is that how it goes? Or am I just gonna have it go around that way? Or am I just doing this wrong? Cause I feel like I might be like just doing this wrong. Can you like fold your sleeves when you're doing dark academia? Can you like you understand my line work? Am I doing this right? Please tell me, because I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so I knew this was going to happen. So... <sighs> what, what to do about these shoes? Um... laces heel is that fine I don't know I can't tell um another thing that I've noticed that they do is like sweater vests okay. I apologize that is the air conditioner uh another thing that they do is sweater vests so Let's just pop that on. And I guess I could do like a collar. I don't know. It's looking a little weird. And I'm gonna again do like a folded sleeve thing going on. This version looks a little bit bulkier than I had planned. It might be this. It might be this. And again, high-waisted pants. Or even I could probably do like a skirt. Can I do a, can I get away with a skirt? If I'm wearing a skirt, I'm wanting it to be pretty long on me. This might seem a little grimage to some, but to me, it's just modest. Bam. And just go like that to suggest. That's actually kind of cute. <laughs> So if I were doing this again, this because this style is like tailored, I would probably do another turban. Or I should probably look up what a turban actually is and the significance behind it. I just use it to cover my hair, but I'm pretty sure there's more to it than what I know. And like whenever I do this, I'll like have like a little tail at the end sometimes to where it's like a ponytail you know it's like a suggestion of hair this these are cute these are cute and I would still again wear like that type of shoe with it um let's see I want to do something with a scarf so I'm gonna do something with a scarf so I'm gonna do scarf first on this one Oh, 
to say that I wear scarves. I am terrible at drawing them. Okay, um... What are we doing here? Because we already did... I could just do like the collared shirt with the pants. Everything is tucked with this style, I've noticed. Everything is pretty much tucked with this style. So I can't really do anything in the ways of bottoms that is much different from a high-waisted tailored pant unless I do a wide leg pant like that because I do have some wide leg pants again with the crease Hmm. And then if I do the wide leg pants, I guess I could do like a loafer. Yes. That looks nice. But like what to do with the top. If we're going off of the outfit that I wore that was similar to this style. It was a turtleneck again. But I wore like a long cardigan. It was like almost a duster honestly. weird drawn on a character honestly speaking yeah and, and so I draped my scarf um let's see <laughs> hmm do I need to do more research did I not do enough research un momento I will be right back okay so I am back and I have done my little bit of research and apparently it does not need to be tucked and I saw one that I'm going to emulate and this is actually something that I will wear and that's why I'm emulating it where it was a vest another vest But instead of the vest being fitted like I thought it was supposed to be, it was not. <laughs> if that wasn't already like, oh, I don't know if this is coming out correctly. Uh, oops. All right, it was sort of like that. And it had the shirt coming out the bottom like that. Which is like fine by me because it covers the toucan bob and that I live for that. This, this side needs to be longer. 
I'm gonna cover this up. Wow. When I come back to color these, um, it'll be in a time lapse because I don't like to color um, and talk through it. It adds too much time to the recording. So, and since I did everything else with a crop sleeve, I'm gonna do this one without a crop sleeve. I don't know if that looks right, but it's going to be right today. So, there. And I wonder, because this is already sort of baggy, and this is not great. As you can see, these three had lots more thought put into it. These three had lots more thought put into it. So... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do what do they call it, a chino pant. I think I think that's what this is called. A chino pant. So that's what this is going to be. This is going to be a chino pant. Not tights. Ooh, this is like terrible. I should have did more research. I should have quit while I was ahead. Oh well. Yeah, no, I don't. I'm not liking this, but that's what happens when you don't do enough research. So out of these three, I'm liking this one and this one. Can you actually see this little mouse? You probably can't see this mouse. Out of these three, I'm liking this one and this one the most. But what I'm gonna do is, since I only did two outfits in my last video, I'm gonna do these three all together. You know, these three all together, and then just, we're just gonna ignore that one. <laughs> So I'm going to color all these outfits, and then I'll be back with my final thoughts.
Okay, so my original audio for this clip has disappeared into the netherverse and <laughs> I don't know where it is or how to get it back. So I'm just gonna record something else. So, one, two, and three. These are the three outfits that I ended up, you know, finishing off with. For number one, I do not feel like I, you know, hit the nail on the head as far as dark academia. I feel like I could have made the colors a little bit darker. And I feel like the cardigan was the wrong choice. But other than that, I think that it's a solid option. Number two, I really like don't necessarily like the scarf probably could have gone with a different color but that was working within a color palette that i had searched up for dark academia and you know i was just using the colors that i could find um number three is my favorite (laughs) by far it is my favorite one out of the three because i have pants that look like that and i've worn an outfit similar to that and number one as a matter of fact um one thing that I've learned about Dark Academia looking at all of the different outfits is that they do a lot of things with patterns like plaid, gingham, not necessarily pinstripe, um, but like, t- and also fabrics like tweed and corduroy and more dense, thicker fabrics. And I love that. It's a lot of, it's more texture than it is anything else. It's more texture than color because the, the color palette is basically just like brown dark green navy i didn't see any pink in there but you know it uh, it's not my style obviously so i'm not like super super excited about dark academia but i'm really excited about these outfits and if i could wear them i would wear all of them besides like the scarf for number two because i don't like it I did actually base all of these outfits off an an existing outfit that I have worn before. That is the pants from number one, the colors from number two and three are what the pants are. So it's like a navy blue, but with the little stripe pattern. And then I think I, I usually wear like a black turtleneck. And then that cardigan would ha- would be like a very bright mustard yellow. And so that's how I based all these outfits off of. Um, that's, you know, that's pretty much it for the outfits, though. I had a lot of fun. If you guys have any other aesthetics that you would like me to draw myself in, then, you know, comment down below which one I should do next. Otherwise, this will be the first and last installment in this series but i had lots of fun and i hope you guys had fun watching too so with that i think i'm gonna head out hope you guys like comment share and subscribe uh follow me on tiktok instagram um support me on etsy buy my stickers all of that fun stuff is gonna be down in the description and i guess i will see you guys next time boy Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I decided to try something. Why am I mumbling? Why am I mumbling?